Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we're gardening here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today we are undertaking another aspect of Operation Hide the Fence. We have some chain link fence on different aspects of our yard and I really don't like the way it looks, but I'm not in a position to change it. So let's get started putting some things in place that will help hide that fence from view. The chain link fence that divides our neighbor's property from ours belongs to our neighbor. So we're not really in a position to be able to take that down and replace it. The chain link fence that's on the back of our property belongs to us. But again, it's not really, we're not in a position right now to replace that fence. We have picket fences around the rest of our backyard and we really like those, but the chain link, mm, not so much. So this year as part of our backyard renovation, I've been planting trees and shrubs and other things that will help distract your eye away from the fence and uh, maybe even hide the fence. So today I'm gonna to be planting a couple more things that will go a little bit of the way toward hiding that fence. So first up, I have some sweet autumn clematis that I've transplanted out of other parts of our yard and I'm going to be planting along the fence. So let's take a closer look at this fence on the side and let's see which part of the fence we wanna cover with this clematis. So as we stand here in the center of the backyard and we look around, over here is where I originally thought I'd be putting this clematis. Clematis. I say it different ways depending on where I am on the sentence. Um, so this section of the fence right here is where I originally thought I'd be putting this vine. Um, but as I look at it with the trees leafed out, it's actually not the most troublesome part of the fence. Because there's this, um, this small tree right here that kind of um, distracts away from the fence and also the fence over here is rusted and so it kind of recedes in away from view but down toward this end behind those arborvitaes let me zoom in a little bit behind those arborvitaes the fence is silver it hasn't rusted and it's really really visible and so i'm thinking that i'm going to plant this sweet autumn clematis on the fence behind the arborvitaes and hopefully that will go some distance toward hiding that silvery fence and providing something green and pretty to look at. Hello! So the part of the fence that I'm concerned about is the part that you can see between these trees. Okay, believe it or not, when you're standing up on the other side of the yard um, from this blob of leaves right there to this tree, is the main area of the fence that needs to be covered between the first two trees. And then between the second two trees, it's down to this vine right here and up to that tree. So that section roughly, mm, roughly what the camera can see right now is where I need to really cover with something to hide that fence. All right, so here's what I have to work with. This is a clump of sweet autumn clematis that I dug out of a front flower bed. It's been sitting here with its roots exposed, drying up, but still not dead. I think about two weeks it's been sitting like this. And then here is another clump of sweet autumn clematis that I dug up from the front corner out by the street. And you can see that it doesn't have any root ball to speak of, but I have been having it sit in water. So it's not quite as dead as you might've thought it was gonna be. So um, I think I'm gonna put the one with the dirt on it over there. And I put these over here. I'm gonna be using Biotone starter fertilizer. Hopefully that will help it take nice root. And then, for, especially for the longer one, I'm gonna go ahead and train the vines up onto the fence to get it started um, climbing. And uh, the other thing about this area is from this tree over to there, there are old shrubs and lots and lots of roots. So I'm not exactly sure how well I'm actually going to be able to plant this. I wanna preserve as much of this vinca as I can because I like this ground cover here. So I'm gonna to try to be gentle with my hole and try to get around those roots. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but let's do it. I really wanna put it right here. 
Let's see if I can. And very surprisingly, I did not hit any tree roots. Let me get some fertilizer. That needs a deep water, but other than that, I think that's about what is that gets. Right. Really don't know what to expect from this. This may not survive because of how little roots there were that came along. Give it a jump start on this fence. All right, there we go. water on that and hopefully it'll be doing pretty well. All right I'm over here on the back fence now and I have this little radar love clematis that is really short right now but it can grow up to eight to ten feet tall and I think I want to put this on this that this fence here and especially right here where there was a tree limb that came down and it bent this pole and it bent this fence. I'm thinking if I can get this vine to grow up and cover that up and have beauty instead of ugly, then that'll make me happy. You might remember that over there on that part of the fence, I've got a fire thorn, um, uh, which variety is it? I don't remember, but a pyrocantha over there. Yukon Bell maybe, I think. Um, and so it's being trained on that fence as well. So I don't think that this one is actually gonna get wide enough that they'll meet in the middle. So this will just be another thing on the fence over here. So. Uh, I just need to get my uh, shovel and get this in the ground. Another method we've been using to help hide this fence is to train this English ivy up onto the fence. And every spring it comes out with these fresh, green, bright, new um, growth. And every spring we pull these new growths out of the ground and weave them onto the fence. Thanks for joining me today here at Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I hope that uh, Operation Hide the Fence uh, somehow inspired you or gave you an idea of what to do with the problem area in your garden. Um, I will be going through with the garden hose and making sure that all my new plants get watered in really deeply. And then um, I'm just gonna continue upkeep on them and try to get this chain link fence a little bit beautified. So thank you again for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful gardening day and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, bye-bye.